Good afternoon. Welcome to the Classic Lounge. Molly's not here today. She's gone on holiday. So um, it's just me. I'm Craig. You've got Rob in the distance over there. So any comments? Rob's looking at comments today. So if you've got any questions on any of the cars in here, give us a shout and, uh, and we'll answer them. And then Nick's behind the camera as well. Say hi, Nick. Hello. That's why we've got the handheld on. Clever. Um, yeah, so Molly's on holiday. So unfortunately, you've just got us today. Um, but we're here, obviously, to do the draw of the BSA. Um, amazingly, it's sold out. I don't know if it's the first bike we've done that has sold out. Probably one of the first bikes, but it's done really well. Um, we've done some very old, very old ones um, that have done well. These are sort of what we would consider the classics, and we've done more modern bikes that have done all right as well. So this just goes to show that um, you guys want to see, possibly, see more classic bikes. So the BSA sold out. We did a live earlier on, had 19 tickets left. Um, and it's sold out just after those 19, uh, so just after that live. So 2,999 tickets, a really good odds on this, and it was only four quid as well. So um, it's a bit of a bargain. So we'll do the draw for that shortly. But every single car that you see in here uh, is a competition car. We will touch upon the Conquest to start with, because the Conquest is next week. It's not sold as well as we thought it was going to, um, considering it's such a pretty car we thought it would do really well. Um, it's not done bad, don't get me wrong, but I think if you're, I don't think it's going to be a sellout, do you think, Lee? No, I think because it's quite quirky though, isn't it? I think it puts some people off and other people love it. it got lots of attention at Helmingham Hall. It did, There was yeah. a guy there who used to own a Daimler. Yeah, there was, considering there's only, well, there's mixed reviews, there's 47, 55 or 60 yes. of them. Somewhere uh, between 47 and 60 were made. And then Brian, who was the compare there, or the MC, Whatever he, is. Um, he said there's 60 that were made because he done he values cars Brian Page classic assessments um, he's very well known around the UK for valuing cars when he saw it he was saying that um, he believes there's 60 of them well this is number 22 however many were made this is number 22 the thing the thing is with this car I guess it's so striking and so pretty and it is exactly what you would imagine a classic car to be but I suppose it's a little bit like um, Rolls Royces and things like that, you kind of you kind of need a garage, I guess, to put it in, and not everybody's got a garage. So that might be putting people off. It's different when you have an MG yeah. or something that you could probably keep outside. You can keep this outside, but it's uh, it, it would probably deserve to be in a garage more. I think as well as another thing that's maybe sort of got in people's minds a little bit is the pre-selected gearbox. You love that, don't you? The thing is, lots of people have gone, oh, pre-selected gearbox. Once you actually kind of try it a couple of times yeah you really kind of don't know you don't think about it no it's like anything's like riding a motorbike in it once you start riding a motorbike you know how yeah. to ride one well it's even sort of like 80s and 90s automatic gearboxes where yeah. like you have to take your foot off the accelerator for a little bit yeah for it to like kick down a gear yeah um so after a while you just kind of get i mean i've probably done more miles in this than anyone else yeah we company. give this to you to drive don't we yeah so yeah um yeah. I quite like it. It just sort of like it's it's really really lovely. We were driving it back from Helmingham on Sunday, yeah, and sort of going over the tops of the fields and not through the fields, but the road that goes between yeah, the fields. Side, yeah, yeah, and um, it couldn't have been nicer. Do you know what I kind of like about this car? Is we get a lot of cars in. People think that we restore the cars that we give away because we're a restoration company. That isn't the case because we're so busy in the workshops. We try our best to get the best we can so that, I mean, everything you buy needs a little bit of work and everything goes through, like we've said before, goes through the workshop. But we try not to have things that need a restoration as such. And what I kind of like about this more than any of the other ones is we have left it alone. You know, we've not done any paintwork to it at all because it's one of these cars, if you do the paintwork, then you'll want to do it all. If you do the chrome work, you want to do it all. So you can look at the seats and you can think, yeah, they're worn. But of course, it's a classic car. Of course, it's worn. Um, but it's, it's all worn perfectly. So I, I, I think it's amazing. I prefer it with the roof off. In, you know, my opinion is it's a prettier car with the roof off because it's so massive at the back. Um, Someone else said that at the show on Sunday, that they prefer it with the roof I off. I think so. Yeah. 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 Nick has got something to say. Hang on. The other thing that we did have that people were saying is from the photos um, is they were saying like, oh, it looks absolutely huge, but we've got it parked right next to an MG ZT. Yeah. They're actually the same size. 
We'll talk about the MG ZT then, shall we? So this is the 260. So I don't know how this is going to go. It's not a Rover. It's not just your normal MG. It has got the Mustang beast of an engine underneath, which obviously makes it quite rare. Uh, I mentioned it earlier, so excuse me if you've seen the previous video, which was this morning. Uh, the gentleman who owned this car before us uh, is part of the MG Owners Club here in East Anglia. He's a big part of the MG Owners Club. So if you're around this area and you're into your MGs, you'll know this car. You'll know how well... Uh, this car has been looked after and preserved. Um, it is brilliant. I mean, it is brilliant. It's the kind of car you could have as your daily. I know we mention it quite a lot, but you could totally... It's a, it's a modern car still, so you could totally get in this and go to work every day, and it sounds incredible. Or you can take it to shows and people who know, know, and they'll really appreciate that you've got this. So that's coming up very soon. Uh, the Daimler, like I say, is going to be given away next week. Molly's back. So, be a more professional video next week. Uh, and then we've got Toyota Celica next. This is the GT4. So, I weren't really sure when this came in. My dad, Gordon, who I own the business with, he bought this. Um, not really the kind of thing that he would ordinarily go for, but he phoned me because he was at the auction at the time and said, it's low mileage, it's totally original, it's a really special car. Um, I suppose it's a generational thing. Chris, who is head of our paint shop, he's off today, but he was watching the live earlier on, and he says this is one of his favourite cars, certainly the best car we've got in the workshop at the moment. So it's not going to be for everybody, um, but I think it will be, again, for people who know, will know this is rare and it's special. I think if you grew up playing Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2, that was You'll get it. the ST205 was the car. We've had this conversation before because I like cars that... I can put away um, as future investments. I know a lot of people don't like the idea of that. That's totally one of them. You could put that away. There's not many of them around because it's well, the GT4. It's very, very difficult as well to find an ST205 GT4 that is unmodified. Untouched, absolutely. Um, yeah. It's one of the cleanest look, Japanese interiors. That, like Even the seat bolsters aren't worn. No, no. It's incredible. So if you're watching along, you're watching along for the draw of the BSA. We've not done it yet. It's totally sold out, um, so you can't get any more tickets for it. But don't worry, because there's more bikes. If, if you like the idea of that as a bike, there's more bikes coming up. I mean, the Royal Enfield, for instance, next to it, that's going to be coming up next week. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one, probably more than any of the others. It's probably the cheapest bike out of the collection that we've got. Um, which is a, is a good thing because it means we can keep the ticket prices as low as we can and also the odds as good as we can. Um, so I think that's going to be, I mean, it's totally ready to take to shows and it's totally ready to be appreciated. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that one. I also have an apology to make as well. Anyone who saw it on our stand at Helmingham, I'd incorrectly labelled it as a 350. It is indeed a 250cc. Um, oh dear. So we've got a few people. So it was really quiet on the comments, so and now okay. it's all, uh, oh, all good. happening. So Ian says, good luck, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Ian. Uh, Derek says, good luck, everyone. So Derek Portsmouth, he won our Daimler. He did. Double six. He did, yes. Uh, yeah. Someone called Molly says, hello, hey. guys. Good luck to the people in the draw. I'm now having a gin by the sea. Should be enjoying your holiday. But thanks for watching along. And Adrian says, good afternoon, all. We'll show you how it's supposed to be done yes. today, Molly. It's going well so far, but we haven't actually started the draw yet, so we, um, we don't the know. The viewership is off the scale. Is it? Is it? it would be. I knew it, scale, would. Yeah. I knew it would be. Um, right, what should we go to next? Porsche 914? What do we think of the 914? It's definitely going to, well, I say it's definitely going to be a competition car. At Helming, we were the main sponsors of Helming. If you're not from this area, you won't have a scooby about what we're talking about. But Helmingham Hall uh, happens every year. It's the biggest car show and probably the best car show in this area. Um, we're the main sponsors of it. That's not the reason why it's the best. Um, we've always been quite heavily involved with Helmingham. Um, we took 10 cars and three bikes with us. This was at the front of the uh, stage. So if you were there, you would have seen this. Loads of people admired it. Loads of people have taken pictures of it. Uh, a few people wanted to buy it, but we've sort of said, no, we'll keep it as a competition car um, at the moment. So this is not shot, or is it shot? shot? Okay, but it will be shot very soon. Uh, this is, we're not sure how this is going to go. I mean, it's a really special car, but it's left-hand drive because they're left-hand drive. And we haven't ordinarily done very well with left-hand drive cars in the past, so we'll see. It's a risk that we have to take, but you won't see many of these on the road. So this is going to be launched very soon. Really pretty. I love the colour of this car. Also, you drove it. And I drove it. Yes, yeah, so I drove it to Helmingham. Um, it's really nice. You need little feet, though. That's the only thing. 
my feet, I mean, I'm like a size nine, but I had my big toe tectors on. Um, so you kind of need to be. Someone was uh, commenting on earlier on who's like six foot five or something. So yeah, he'd fit in, but maybe he's got big feet. I don't know. He might have tiny little feet. I don't know. But Craig's uh, solution for not fitting in was just to take the roof off. Take the roof off. Yeah, so. absolutely. Um, so Mark says he's excited. Molly also says ha ha. Not sure what she's laughing at, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, and Sally, Sally says Helmingham Hall is a beautiful location. Is that Sally? Is that Molly's mum? No, it's not. Oh, different, it's Sally. different Sally. Oh, different okay. Sally. Okay. Right, so let's move on <laughs> to Austin 7, which is Molly's favourite. Um, we've shot this. I haven't seen the photos or the video or anything for it yet. This is, again, it's a little bit like the Daimler, totally untouched. So we've looked after this car for many, many years, probably as long as we've had um, Bridge Classic cars at this place, which is eight or nine years. Um, David, who was the previous owner of this, has just got to an age now where he doesn't use it as much as he would want to. Um, so it's time to let the car go. But he's had this car forever, basically. So we've serviced it. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's really quirky. It's really nice. Again, the odds are going to be really good. We've not discussed any of that yet, but the price is going to be good and the odds are going to be good because it's not a hugely valuable car to start with. So I think that will be a very, very popular one for, for and people. And it also drives lovely. Well. It does. It's just, yeah. a, it's just a lovely little thing. You can't help me be happy when you drive it. No. Yeah. And Molly loved it when she saw it. So the paint is exactly what you'd expect. Don't expect this to be a show winning car because it isn't, but it would absolutely turn heads at any show that you go to. Uh, and then we have, I know it's probably boring people, then we have the supercharged, which again, it's just lovely. It's color combination is right. I like cars that are quite bright. So um, this is kind of the opposite of what I would ordinarily go for. But um, it's like an Aston, it's like any of those, it drives beautifully, it's black on black, so I think that will tick a lot of people's boxes. Again, brilliant everyday car, um, so that's going to be a competition very soon. And then finally, out of the competitions, before we go to the draw, is there any more comments? Uh, only a few, so Adrian's asking if everyone watching along thinks the Conquest is a cool car. Yeah. Uh, Derek says it's a very cool car, and Sally's laughing that she has the same name as Molly's mum. There is, there is quite a special competition car that we do want to... There is quite a special competition car, as Nick says in the background, and I'm assuming he means this very special competition car here. Is that what you mean? And the other one. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. But this is a very comp uh, special competition car. We've not even touched upon the very, very special one. Um, this was picked up a couple of weeks ago. Condition is absolutely incredible. It's so difficult to describe on camera how good this car is. We bought it from H&H &H Auctions in Buxton a couple of weeks ago. It was a brilliant auction, by the way. I spoke about it last week. Um, after we paid for this, we just happened to say to um, James at H&H &H that you know, it is the owner of this car here. And he went, yeah, he is here. And as he said that, he walked past. So we introduced ourselves to the guy. Uh, the guy who owned this car restored this car. He's only a young lad. He works for a company... I think up north, um, that specialise in gearboxes. And this was like a little side project for him. It was his everyday car. The, oh, sorry, it was, his, it was his car that he restored himself. Um, he said the only reason he's selling it is because he's moving on to get himself another project, so he's letting it go. We bought it, and we thought it looked good under those lights. Then it arrived back here. We lifted it up on the ramp, and I'm not joking. The underneath is just as good as on top. It's absolutely incredible. It looks like it's never been driven. If you go on the website, you can see the photos that Rob took when it was up on the ramp, and it looks like it's never been on the road. Yeah, so if you want to see underneath that, it's like all of the projects that we have. We have a project section on the website, so every single car that comes in, you can go to projects, you can go to completed, it shows you everything we've ever worked on, and you can go to current, and it shows you everything we're working on right now. Um, Rob, Nick... The team upstairs all write alongside the technicians exactly what we're doing on a daily basis. Um, and it's really good. So wherever you are in the world, you can go on and you can see exactly what we're doing. And this one is included. So when we lifted this up, Steve, who was working on the car, one of our technicians, said, guys, come and have a look at this, photograph it and talk about it. So that's what we're doing. So that's going to be a competition car very soon. So there's quite a lot of love for the Zephyr. Yeah. Um, Hev says he loves the Zephyr. Uh, and Molly has said that she needs to get a new outfit for the Zephyr. She loves it so much. Yeah, it's really nice. Right, okay. Now, Nick was mentioned the special car. This is the special car. So this went live 10, 15 minutes ago? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about it. So this is an XJ6, if you don't know. Um, this car here 
is super special for the reason we sold this car many years ago to a gentleman and he has driven this car as he's daily ever since. He comes to all of our shows. Uh, he came to a show a month or so ago and said he was, it was time to let it go. So we took it back. Um, now, if you know about us and you, sort of, you follow us, you'll know that we launched uh, a video when did we launch it? Six months ago? Yeah. Maybe so, a little maybe bit less a bit than less, six months yeah. ago. Um, we're affected, like everybody is affected here um, by cancer in one way or another. We are here. Um, that Some of our team members have, have got it right now. Some of our team members have, have gone through it. We all know somebody who has. So a few months ago, Nick, who's on camera now, made an absolutely incredible video. Uh, which is on YouTube at the moment. So if you go to the Bridge Classic Cars YouTube channel um, and then look for the C word, it's called. If you can, if you can look at that, it's an hour to, to watch, but it is absolutely incredible. We basically started talking um, about our experiences and we didn't realise how many people had been affected by cancer. So we said, well, let's get everybody together and we recorded it. Um, and it's just very raw and it's very emotional and it's people talking about what they've gone through, what they're going through right now, and also family members talking about um, what it's like to go through that with somebody who, who is going through it now. So Gordon, who's my dad, went through it a couple of years ago. Uh, so Eva, his wife, was sitting there as well. And she was, she was sort of talking about her experiences and what she had to go through. So we've teamed up with Cancer Support Suffolk, which is a charity based here in Suffolk. Um, and that is exactly what they do. So they try and encourage people to open up and talk about it. Uh, they have got a huge car show that's going on. Uh, it's the first one that they're going to do. Hopefully it won't be the last, but that's to raise awareness and raise funds for Cancer Support Suffolk, but mainly to raise awareness and to encourage people to, to talk and speak up about their experiences and what they're going through. And what we've decided to do is, again, we're supporting that car show which is happening in August and every single penny of the proceeds of this car will go directly to the charity so it's not about low odds we've kept the price reasonable so that hopefully we can encourage as many people as possible just to spare us five pounds to buy a ticket it's unlimited ticket so we're going to try and sell with your help as many tickets as we possibly can and like I say we'll keep a running tally and we'll tell you the running tally as we go along of how much we've raised and that will all go to Cancer Support Suffolk so whether you like this car or not if you're touched by cancer in some way or another or you know somebody who is then please support it and get a ticket for this it's live now it'll be live for about two or three weeks so if you can support us with this that would be absolutely amazing um, but should we go and do the draw yeah let's okay. do it any more comments? No, we're very quiet on the comments today. It's because Molly's not on, isn't it? I know. I thought this would be much more like Ant and Deck, if I'm honest. It is. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, you've gone through all of this. If you watch um, what we do already, what you'll see here is the um, entry list. So if you go to the website here, You'll see this is our main website. This you can see at any time. If you go to competitions, drop it down. You've got your current competitions to buy your tickets now, and then entry list. So after before every single draw goes live, like we are now, we have an entry list put up. It's got every single name uh, and their ticket numbers on there. So if you're in the draw, two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine of you, because this sold out. You're in this list somewhere. And whilst you're doing that, Craig, Mark, who's the CEO of uh, Cancer Mark. Support Suffolk, says, thank you, Craig. This is amazing. You will help us to support even more cancer patients in Suffolk. Amazing. I think everybody, if we can, get involved as much as you can with this one because it is it's so special to so many people. Okay, so what we'll do is there's 2,999. So I'm just going to chuck out a couple of numbers. What, so none of these numbers will come out. It's 10,000 to 11,000. If you click generate, it shows you that 10,013 would have been the ticket number in that one. If you can let us know at home that you're, you can see clearly, it's really important. So we're live. What you see on the screen here is what you see behind us here. So sitting at 11,000. I'll change that back to zero. Generate that. So it now takes it back to zero. What we'll do is we'll hold out until we've got a few people that will say, yes, it's clear and you can see. Molly says it's clear. Thanks, Molly. She's enjoying being on the other side is of she? this, isn't she? Is it sunny where you are, Molly? Because it's absolutely tipping it down here. Gareth says all clear. Okay. If we can wait for a couple more. So this is Google random number generator. Zach says all clear. Cool. Okay. Right. 
So the first ticket will be number one, and the second, uh, the, the last lot will be two, nine, nine, nine. Oh, nine, nine, nine. Is that right? One to 2,999. Okay. So every single ticket has sold on this one. So hopefully, all being well, we should find the winner straight away. And it's 2664. We'll try and phone the winner as well after this, but 2664. I understand why she doesn't hold a microphone now. <laughs> okay, right, 266. Uh, Molly says it's so sunny and it's like being in the Bahamas. Is it? Mm. I bet it is, yeah. 2664. It was here earlier. Just uh, started tipping it down now. So two, let's just have a little look. So random number generator, 2664 and 2664. If I can do that is Nick Doyle. Now, I don't recognise Nick Doyle's name, so no, he's possibly a new... Congratulations to Nick. What we'll do is we'll try and give you a call now. So congratulations, Nick. We'll try and find out where you live. Just swapping microphones. And then what we'll do is we'll head out here. I want to show you something else, actually, whilst we're here. So at Helmingham Hall, as you can see, we've got Heart of Suffolk Gins here. They're a local distillery to us. Now, on their stand... They had this, which is an oak aged gin. So it's batch number six of six, so they're not making any more of these, and this bottle is number 21 of 40. They've got two left. They've got number 14 and number 40, so I bought them. And the reason I bought them is what we're standing here is the Members Club. Um, the Members Club, we host events in here. We host events all over the UK as well. Um, if you're a member, you get 20% off every single competition that we run. Uh, even if there is a discount code, you'll get your 20% on top of the discount code. So you always get the best possible price. You have exclusive access to the um, Members Club, the, the classic lounge we're standing in now. We would put events on that are only for members. And if we put events on for everybody else, you also get a discount on them as well. Now, the reason why I bought that was we're also going to start doing draws for people who are members. Um, only little things like that, but I mean, in theory, that is a good investment opportunity because they're not going to make any more of them. So what we'll do is we'll do a draw for our members as well, and they might pick up a little extra thing. There's going to be no charge on our draws. It will just be small little things that make, make it quite exciting. So this is Nick, yeah? Okay. Kind of walk over to his bike. He's not answering, is he? Hello? Oh, is that Nick? Yeah. Nick is Craig at Bridge Classic Cars. Hello. Hello, how are you doing, all right? I'm all right, how are you? I'm all right, yeah, not too bad. Can you talk? Okay, it's a very quick one. Normally Molly would do this on a Tuesday afternoon where she phones the winner and tell them they've won something, but she's not here today, so I'm phoning you to tell you you've won a BSA bike. Really? Yeah, yeah. So how many tickets did you have? Um, I think about ten. Ten tickets. Well, congratulations. So yeah, we're, we're live at the moment on Facebook, so when you get off the phone, if you're not watching a lot, are you watching along? No, no, I oh, okay. forgot all about it. Oh, that's all right, that's all right, don't worry. Uh, yeah, you can jump on afterwards and you can see that I am talking to you right now. Whereabouts are you in the world? Uh, Birmingham, West Bromwich. Oh, okay, excellent. We have our own covered transport, so what we'll do is we'll, I'll give you a call. It'll be me again. I'll give you a call a little bit later on, um, and we'll arrange delivery of the bike. Um, but congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. a pleasure. Yes. Have a good rest of your day. I will now, thank you. Cheers, see you later. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go, that's Nick. So he liked that. So yeah, that's it. So next week, Molly is back. Next week is the Daimler Conquest. We're actually going to do it live from Secford Hall, because that's another thing. I'll just mention that very quickly. So the Daimler Conquest competition also comes with, we have Secford Hall here, which is an absolutely incredible estate. Um, so what they're going to put up a room uh, with breakfast and with an evening meal. So that also comes as part of the prize for the Daimler Conquest. So um, we'll be live next week and someone will win that. And obviously a night away at Secford Hall as well. But from everybody here, thank you very much. Congratulations to Nick. And we'll see you soon.